everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be showing you our skincare routine. These are the products we use every single day and really the routine that we do every day to keep our skin clear and glowing. Emily and I oftentimes share the same products. I have a theory, most products out in the marketplace generally do the same thing. So you don't have to get really highly technical about what products you're using on your skin. I'm gonna give you the basics of skincare and then you can throw in your own products. So the first product we use every single night, the first thing we do is we wash our face and we use this Epiclair Cream Moussante. Just kidding, <laughs> that's in French. <laughs> I'm gonna read the English version first. <laughs> Epiclair Deep Cleansing Foaming Cream and this is what product we use to wash our face with every single night and I generally like to wash my face with this Clarisonic. It's um, an apparel, no. <laughs> Um, Appliance? Yes. <laughs> so it's a device that helps exfoliate your skin. I don't actually use the Clarisonic because I use other methods of exfoliation, but this is something I really want to stress. Your skincare routine must, no matter what skin type you have, whether you have dry skin, oily skin, blemish prone skin, whatever it is, you must exfoliate. Exfoliation is the key to good skincare. It takes off the, the dead skin cells that are on the surface of your skin. It allows products to penetrate into your skin. It will also, if you have oily skin, stop you from breaking out because dead skin cells clog your pores and then you tend to break out. So exfoliation is key. This is the way Emily exfoliates. She uses her um, appliance. <laughs> she uses the Clarisonic. I have other ways of exfoliating. I use the same cleanser. This is from the drugstore. It is a French brand, but I really like it. And I also wanna say this to you. Once you find a routine that works for you, stick with it for a while. And if you're gonna try something new, add in one product at a time. It's very important not to just change your routine and put seven new products on your face because right. if you do break out or if you have some weird reaction, you won't know what causes it. This is really, really important advice. Anyway, so I use this cleanser. After I use the cleanser, I use these Neutrogena wipes. I use these wipes not to clean my face, not in place of cleaning my face. I use it to get rid of any um, residue kind of makeup that's, that's still on my skin. Sometimes I go into the crevices of my nose and I like kind of scrub. I just want to make sure that my skin is really clean before I put any products on. So I think you use this too. Sometimes I'll do it. Generally, I don't wear that much makeup that I need to do that, but yeah. if I have like residue mascara, then I will definitely use that. This is a really great product, and it also is great if you're traveling or if you're on the go and you don't always have all your products with you. This is just great to keep in your handbag. Like, right. I've pretty much got one in the car, I've got one everywhere. Mm -hmm. I even have one in my backpack. There you go. It's, it's a really good product. So, exfoliators. Let me talk a little bit about exfoliators because I've said it's really important. There are different kinds of exfoliators they all pretty much do the same thing. So don't get hung up on which one you're using. She's got a physical exfoliator. This is physically kind of using abrasion on the skin to get rid of skin cells. There are chemical exfoliators, such as glycolic acid. This is another way, this is like a little packet that I use sometimes, we both sometimes use these, that you put on your skin, it's gonna feel tingly and kind of itchy and like, you don't wanna rip your skin off. It's an exfoliant, okay? Exfoliation is very important. I like to use these Dr. Colbert um, facial discs. These are little packets that when you take them out, they have like a little disc, and it's kind of like using the Clarisonic. It's like a Brillo pad, actually. It kind of just, you scrub it on your skin, you're exfoliating your skin, super important. Other exfoliation, there is um, scrubs, any kind of like apricot scrub, glycolic acid, lactic acid, um, generally, anytime you see acid, like salicylic acid also, which is great for blemish prone skin, that is an exfoliator. Mm -hmm. So Exfoliation is key to having great skin. It really is. And as you're aging, exfoliation also helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And that's really important. And like I said, it, it also helps um, when you're putting serums and any kind of moisturizers on your skin, it lets them absorb quickly and easily into your skin. All right, so after I wash my face, I'm gonna wanna do a face mask. So I don't generally do a face mask every single night. I'm just gonna try and do it three to four times a week. And I like to do either of these two masks. This first one is from Glam Glow, and it's a super mud clearing treatment. And this is just to prevent impurities and take out all the impurities out of your face. And usually mud or clay masks generally do that. They just, um, like, 
draw absorb, out. draw uh, out. Yeah, draw out <laughs> <laughs> the impurities in your face. And then the next is this Peter Thomas Roth sulfur mask. And sulfur is great for anti-blemishes. It's a great way to prevent blemishes from coming onto your face. And I like to do either of these two three or four times a week. Yeah. And you guys, any kind of clay-based mask, it doesn't have to be specifically the Glam Glow. Um, you can go to the drugstore. Any, type, any kind of clay mask, mud mask is gonna do the same thing. Sulfur is an amazing anti-blemish treatment. And one of the things that we are really into is preventing breakouts. Once you have a breakout, you're just kind of doomed. Yeah. You're doomed. There's nothing you can do but wait it out, which sucks to Ugh. no end. It's the worst. So the goal is to keep your skin clean and clear so that you don't have to like try to work on right. one huge massive blemish. So I don't generally do masks as much. Um, I don't really need to. I will sometimes do moisturizing or an eye mask. And I don't have any of those with me. We're not actually at home right now so we only have what we've got with us. But um, I have mixed skin. I break out but I also have dry skin. So I've got kind of a two part thing. We both use this Effaclair, once right. again, that brand from La Roche Posay, Effaclair Duo. This is a benzoyl peroxide. I also have this product just to show you that we also have the Clean and Clear here. This is Persa Gel 10. This is 10% benzoyl peroxide. This is 5%. It doesn't really matter. If you're prone to getting irritated, use a lighter version. Right. The trick is you want to use it every single night as a preventative. Mm -hmm. This is not going to work as a spot no, treatment. It will not. Right? It's just not going to work as a spot treatment. Once you've got that blemish, you got it, baby. It's mm. there for a while. Right. After we use our acne treatment, we're going to go right on to this moisturizing Melissa Day Cream. And this is just a great product to moisturize your skin. So if you're ever like breaking, um, not breaking out, if you're ever dry or peeling in a certain place, this cream is absolutely the best one to stop that peeling and to really moisturize your skin in a quick amount of time. This is actually Dr. Hauschka is the brand. You can get this at Whole Foods or like online anywhere. Um, it's not too expensive. It is a lightweight cream. It's not super oily. And as somebody who breaks out and is really like afraid to put like a lot of stuff on my face, this will not break me out. I also add in, of course, another product because the area underneath my eye, the skin underneath my eye, I'm always really concerned. I don't want it to get really crepey and I'm trying to keep it moisturized. Um, this is an Obagi eye cream. You guys, any kind of heavier weight eye cream is going to be fine. You don't need to buy specifically what we're talking about. It's the concept is um, at my age, I want to put an eye cream on. You don't necessarily need to put an no, eye cream I don't on. Really need one. <laughs> but um, so you want to exfoliate, prevent any breakouts, and moisturize if you're prone to breakouts. Some of you are not, and you can skip that altogether. I don't believe in super expensive creams. I just don't. I think um, as somebody who works in the business and I know what's out there, um, big brands that charge $100 for a bottle of cream are generally spending that money on marketing. This is not going onto your skin, the products onto your skin. If you look at the ingredients and most, they're all the same. So wear what doesn't break you out, what doesn't irritate you, wear what makes you feel good and that's the best thing. If I get a blemish on my skin and I wanna get rid of it because it's hideous and nobody wants that in their life. <laughs> I use this Neutrogena Rapid Clear Pimple Gel and I just put this right on the blemish. I tend to get blemishes on my forehead and it's for spot treatment. It's not something you put all over your face. It's just for that blemish. Um, and I'd like to say this. The two of these are a potent combination. That is to say, potent. Benzoyl peroxide, and then on top of it, a little bit of salicylic acid treatment, and you are going to be definitely making a difference in that blemish. You're right. gonna say, go bye blemish, bye bye. No one wants you here. No, <laughs> you weren't invited, but you showed up. It's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I like, if you have a monster blemish and you have to go out during the daytime, God forbid, can we all just stay home if we have a huge blemish? No Skip school. school. Skip school, I'll write a note for you. <laughs> this product is really cool. It's called End Zit. And it is a sulfur, I think it's, um, hold on, let me just look. It doesn't say. So you have to shake it up and then you dot it on the blemish and just kind of blend it in. It'll blend into your skin and it will dry that puppy up. All right, thank you guys so much for watching our video on our skincare routine. I hope you liked it. I hope I didn't bore you too much with all that like fancy behind the scenes stuff. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you would like to, comment below. If you are part of the Snapchat fam, I wanna see that down below. Um, subscribe. If you aren't already subscribed. If you are, check us out. Stalk us on Instagram, on Snapchat. Um, come knock on our door. Hi. I don't know. Well, we wanna hear from you. So thanks everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I was going for the cheek. <laughs> and you threw your face at me. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today. <laughs>